waiting for uh, you to think but uh, essentially what we are thinking about uh, is uh, modeling constant elasticity model using simple linear regression and what we do is when we clearly know that the relationship is not linear we actually transform the equation so we actually transform the equation and still model the curved patterns the the, the relationship is clearly not linear so, uh, what kind of transformations? What do we mean by transformations first of all? So, essentially a simple linear regression model is of this type y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x right plus epsilon right. So, uh, sorry uh, epsilon is this error term, uh, uh, error term uh, and epsilon we are we are separating out elasticity and uh, epsilon. Uh, let us say this is error term. So, this is error right. So, this is your response variable, this is your explanatory variable. Now, this relationship is linear. Our current relationship is not linear c into p to the power of negative epsilon, right. Uh, so, this epsilon is the elasticity, this is elasticity, okay. So, uh, we transform y, we transform d, we transform p in such a way that we get a linear relationship between uh, the response variable and the explanatory variable. So, how do you decide which transformation? What do you mean by transformation? Uh, we can use uh, instead of y, we can use 1 by y, right, uh, or we can use uh, log of y, or we can use y squared. These are transformations of y, right. Instead of using y, I can use different uh, functions uh, reciprocal of y, log of y, uh, polynomial of y. Similarly, uh, I can use 1 by x uh, or uh, log of x uh, or uh, polynomial x right. So, uh, in, you, by using these transformations I will convert a nonlinear relationship to a linear relationship. So, what is the usual guidelines for transforming your explanatory variable and response variable? Usually this is the uh, rule of thumb. So, we can pick the correct transformation using this following diagram. So, uh, if uh, if the relationship between if the relationship between x and y is of this type, right? If the relation this is your uh, explanatory variable, this is your response variable, and the relationship looks like this, and the relationship looks like this, then we are talking about this kind of relationship. So we say that uh, transformation uh, y squared x squared may be uh, more appropriate. So wherever uh, you have uh, response variable, you square it. Where, wherever you have uh, explanatory variable, you square it and use that transformation. Uh, on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, uh, let me erase this. Uh, let me erase this. Uh, if the relationship uh, between x and y, if the relationship between x and y uh, looks uh, something like this, looks something like this, then usually transforming the log, uh, transforming the explanatory variable is sufficient either a log transformation or a reciprocal transformation of the explanatory variable is sufficient to convert a non-linear relationship to a linear relationship. Similarly, this, right, similarly this. So, uh, what do I mean by this? Uh, let me erase this, right. And then we say that uh, the relationship between uh, x and y looks something like this, which is the same shape, right, same shape here. So, if the relationship between x and y is like this, which is clearly nonlinear, to transform this nonlinear relationship into linear relationship, either we can transform y or we can transform x or do both. So, either we can take the log transformation of y or a reciprocal transformation of y, uh, we can take the log transformation of x or uh, reciprocal transformation of x or do both, right, and then we can get a uh, linear transform transformed association between uh, response variable and the explanatory variable. Now, when we say our relationship is of this type, if we say that the relationship is of this type, clearly, clearly we are talking about this kind of, clearly we are talking about this kind of relationship, right. So, this, this equation, so if we put uh, price on the x axis and if we put demand on the y axis. Uh, this equation is going to look like this. This equation is going to look like this. So, uh, let us try a log log transformation. Let us try a log log transformation. What do I mean by a log log transformation? So, let me erase all this now. So, we have already decided that uh, we are going to use transformation. 
we have already decided that uh, our transformation is going to be of log log type so uh, here let us let us uh, write the transformed equation let us take log of both sides let us take log of both sides so we will take log of d right or or let, let, let us do better okay let us do better so uh, let us take uh, natural log log of d is equal to uh, log of c plus negative epsilon log of p right that will be the that will be the uh, correct equation once we take the log transformation taking log of both sides the left hand side log log of d right hand side log will become like this and now if we say that this is my if i say that uh, this is my response variable my response variable is no longer uh, d but it is actually log of d natural log of d i don't say that my res uh, exponentary variable is price but it is actually log of price so this is my exponentary variable this is my explanatory variable so i have changed my explanatory variable i have transformed my explanatory variable earlier my explanatory variable was simply x my my response variable was simply y and the relationship was linear now i have taken a transformation my response variable is a log of d my explanatory variable is a log of price and now the relationship looks like a linear relationship so this way this is this can be considered to be uh, y this can be considered to be x so this is of this type y is equal to uh, beta naught plus beta 1 x where x is log of price y is log of d the beta naught is log of c anyway c was a constant so log of c will be a constant so that is your y intercept and uh, beta naught or beta 1 uh, is the slope which is negative of the elasticity now i know how to do this uh, if i run a simple linear regression simple linear regression essentially is going to give me an estimate for beta naught it is going to give me an estimate of beta 1 <coughs> there i interpreted beta naught to be directly uh, the y intercept uh, which gives me the market size here beta naught is going to say it is log of c so to actually get the value of c i need to take the anti log and uh, get the value of c remember what c was c was the demand when price is equal to 1 c was the demand when price is equal to 1 so that was a constant similarly uh, the slope from my uh, simple linear regression estimation my beta 1 estimate beta 1 estimate is going to directly give me the elasticity value right negative of elasticity value so let us uh, let us run this right so let us see this uh, on the slide again so log log transformation uh, so uh, i am going to get a log of uh, demand log of price so this is this becomes my new response variable this becomes my new explanatory variable and uh, this becomes my y intercept and this becomes my slope 